Tomo News presents Here, Piggy Piggy! Pigs make daring escape to avoid becoming bacon. Two pigs made the front page of the internet this week. No, the other kind. Both pigs rose to fame for their brave escape from trucks and route to the slaughterhouse. The first video, apparently taken somewhere in South America, shows the pig's struggle to get on top of the truck. It considers the gravity of the situation. If this works, everyone who ever said when pigs fly would have to deliver on those promises. Here we go. Three, two, super pig! Ouch. Okay, that looks like it hurt a little, but that is some terrific radiant humble pig. Let's hope a pack of wolves isn't waiting for babe in the bushes. The second courageous porker comes from Foshan City in China's Guangdong province. This little piggy was going to market, and this little piggy said, Heck no, I'm out of here. Someone behind the truck was ready with a camera when the piggy made the leap. Nice little air trot you've got going on there, piggy. Trademark. The oinker landed on the hard concrete in the middle of traffic and was able to find its feet. If you like happy endings more than you like bacon, now's the time to stop watching. According to reports, the driver did notice the pig was missing and circled around with his truck. The driver caught the pig, turning its long leap to freedom into a short stroll among traffic. He then carefully delivered the pig to his final resting place. Enjoy your breakfast. This little piggy went wherever it wanted, apparently. Farmer killed and eaten by one of his own pigs. A pig farmer in southern China died on Monday after one of his pigs apparently bit off a chunk of his leg. Some of you may have seen 2001's Hannibal and scoffed at the idea of man-eating pigs. Well, after hearing this story, we think you might reconsider your skepticism. So this 60-year-old farmer was apparently very familiar with pigs, and on Monday afternoon he went to repair a broken part of the pig pen at his Guangzhou farm. While he was working, one of the boars attacked him, injuring his leg. The man was able to crawl a short distance, but the blood loss caused him to pass out. His wife found him an hour later and screamed for help. Unfortunately, the poor farmer had lost too much blood and succumbed to his injuries. Doctors were surprised when they noticed a large portion of his left thigh missing and later determined that it had been gouged out and eaten by the male pig that had attacked him. Experts say that male pigs are much more aggressive and territorial than females, and occasionally when they meet other male pigs, they will try to attack and fight each other. A newborn pig with human head was found in Laos. A pig with a human head, a human with a pig head, a pig with a human head, a human with a pig head. What on earth is it? A pig or a human being? It's all quite confusing. The footage was shot recently in Laos. The uploader said the newborn pig both looks and acts like a human being. The villagers where it was born take care of it as if it was a child. How could such a thing happen? The puzzle remains unsolved. The internet has suggested the DNA test to be performed to find out exactly what this strange-looking creature is. Two-headed piglet rears its freaky head. Two heads are definitely better than one for a pig farmer in China's Sichuan province. Farmer Zhong Guoyang says one of his sows has given birth to a freak pig, which has got locals flocking to his farm. The piglet was born on June 5th with two snouts and three eyes. Zong said he usually feeds his pigs ragweed and didn't give the pregnant sow anything else. So far, the farmer's been offered about $300 for the piglet, but he said he'd turn the cash down because his son wanted to keep it. Two-headed pigs aren't uncommon in China. Last August, a two-headed piglet was found abandoned outside a Buddhist temple in Tianjin. It had two heads and three ears, 
and was able to eat from both mouths. Two months earlier, another two-headed pig was born in Chongqing but died three days later. Hmm, maybe it's something in the water? The life of a mafia boss is fraught with danger. And the death of Francesco Rocosta delivered the latest lesson in the perils of mob life. Rocosta vanished without a trace sometime last year, the victim of a bloody 60-year southern Italian mob feud. He was allegedly first beaten severely with spades by rival gangsters before being thrown in a pigsty. Where he was allegedly fed alive to a herd of pigs who quickly chewed through his body as he screamed, begging for mercy. Police have pinned the murder on 24-year-old rival mobster, Simone Pepe, whom they wiretapped and heard boasting about Rocosta's death. Shrink-wrapped whole suckling pig available in Japan supermarkets. Warning pig lovers, discretion is advised. Remember how we all used to adore this lovely talking piglet babe? How he won everyone's heart and gave us the courage to explore the world? I know, pink piglets are super cute. But wait, entire shrink-wrapped ah! suckling piglets are now on sale in Japanese supermarkets. Okay, okay, I do love pork cutlets in Japanese hot pot with pork, but to see an entire wrapped suckling pig in the supermarket is a completely different story. As a meat eater, I might sound like a hypocrite when I say this, but yeah, it's kind of unsettling. Eating poor little babe isn't cheap. A whole suckling pig costs 30,000 Japanese yen. That's about 280 US dollars. A suckling pig is a baby pig that is slaughtered between the ages of two and six weeks and traditionally is roasted whole for special occasions. Alligators escape and pigs are rescued during China flood. Over the past week, severe flooding has devastated parts of central and southern China, killing almost 130 people, destroying more than 1.9 million hectares of crops, and leading to direct economic losses of more than 38 billion yuan, or 5.7 billion U.S. dollars. During the storm, 92 alligators escaped from a local farm in Anhui province, the same area that houses the Anhui Research Center of Chinese Alligator Reproduction, the largest breeding center for 10,000 reptiles, including the endangered Yangtze alligator species. The escaped alligators swam over their enclosure walls when floodwaters filled their pens. Authorities sent out a warning to locals and have taken measures to reinforce alligator pens at the center. As of July 7th, only eight of the alligators from the farm have been recaptured. In another part of Anhui, 1,000 pigs were saved when their enclosures flooded earlier in the week. Among 3,000 pigs, only a third were mature enough to be slaughtered and therefore saved. Kind of ironic. The Shishang Group, the company that led the rescue, said the operation was quite expensive. As for the remaining 2,000 oinkers, well, their fate is probably left up to the gators. If you heard terrifying screams coming from the house next door, you'd call the cops, right? Fearing the worst after hearing screams from the house next door, a woman in the U.S. state of Maine dialed 911. Four state troopers responded to the report and went to the home ready for a confrontation. Seeing the lady of the house seemed to be just fine, cops tried to figure out what all the racket was about. And so the homeowner spilled the beans, telling cops that she raised pigs and had just placed a male pig in a pen with five sows in heat. Considering that no laws had been broken, police had no choice but to let the pig and its owner off with a warning. Vets say pigs are quite fond of mating and have climaxes lasting 10 to 30 minutes. Damn, no wonder that pig was squealing. Exposure to pig feces kills Japanese farm worker. A worker at a piggery in northern Japan died from exposure to hydrogen sulfide given off by pig feces on Wednesday. Two workers, aged 50 and 30, were discovered unconscious at around 9 a.m. at the piggery located in the city of Hachinohe. They reportedly lost consciousness while cleaning sewage due to exposure to hydrogen sulfide. One of the workers died, the other remains hospitalized. Hydrogen sulfide is a potentially lethal toxic gas often found in piggeries. It's produced by anaerobic bacterial decomposition of organic matter, such as those found in feces and manure. Author claims David Cameron put his gentleman's sausage into a dead pig's mouth when he was at Oxford. 
an unauthorized biography of David Cameron titled Call Me Dave claims that unlike Bill, Dave absolutely did inhale the chronic while at Oxford, but also, um, Dave apparently porked a dead pig's mouth. Cameron won, Clinton zero. Authors Lord Ashcroft and journalist Isabel Oakeshott wrote that when Dave attended Oxford in the mid-80s, you might say he wallowed in the world of rich kid party animals. A devoted fan of booze, Cameron joined the Bullingdon Club, whose members had a reputation for being, oh, how can we put this nicely, snooty privileged pricks. But the pig is the best part. While enjoying an evening of debauchery at another Oxford club, states the book, an eyewitness who later became an MP, says Cameron placed his flagpole into the mouth of a dead pig. And the pig's head, during its violation, was resting on the lap of another club member at the time. Sexy! <laughs> Not. The pork poking incident was allegedly part of some initiation ritual, and photographs were supposedly taken, but the guy said to have the pigs, he won't talk. Shocking, no? Dave is on the record for a weed bust just before he took his O-levels, but the book says he was part of Oxford's Cannabis Flam Club as well. And yes, he inhaled. No comment from Downing Street, but what you think? Mistaken identity? A stupidly entertaining tale of a cocky young man? Or evidence that Dave is a pig? Or at least that he might like them a bit too much? Scientists are trying to grow human organs in pigs. A team of scientists from the University of California, Davis, are attempting to produce human pig embryos in order to grow human organs in pigs. To grow a human organ, such as a pancreas, in a pig, one must first remove the DNA that is responsible for growing a pig's pancreas from a fertilized pig embryo, using a technique known as CRISPR gene editing. A void is created after the gene editing, and human-induced pluripotent stem cells are then injected into the embryo to fill the void. The human pig embryo, known as a chimera, is then implanted into a sow and is allowed to develop for 28 days. Then the pregnancy is terminated and the tissue removed for analysis. The chimera would develop into a normal pig, but one with a human pancreas that would be ready to be harvested for transplant. Human-induced pluripotent stem cells are adult cells that have been reprogrammed into stem cells. They can develop into any tissue in the human body, including corneas, lungs, hearts, livers, and kidneys. With pigs serving as biological incubators for human organs, scientists could potentially grow any organ when needed. However, a major concern is that the human stem cells could migrate to the pig embryo's brain, which would make it somewhat human-like. The research is highly controversial, as many are worried that growing human organs in pigs may lead to a new source of animal abuse, despite the fact that it may help to ease the shortage in organ donations in the U.S. Man arrested for threats, extortion, and property damage. After a four-month-long investigation, police have finally arrested Jin Changchen as the head of a group of thugs that have been extorting and threatening business owners in the Keelong area. Keelong is a port city to the north of Taiwan's capital, Taipei. Mr. Jin, the man in the sunny yellow shirt but lacking a sunny disposition, operated a solar panel business. He would convince other business owners to install solar panels on the roof of their establishments. However, when the work would only be 70 to 80 percent complete, Mr. Jin and his thugs would appear demanding the remainder of the payment for installing the panels. If the owners failed to pay up, Mr. Jin and his cronies would literally slop pig poo on their homes or businesses. Other times, Mr. Jin and company would smash properties and cars to make their point. Police have arrested 13 people in connection with Mr. Jin and his not-so-sunny operations. Pigs gone wild! Pigs escape after semi-trailer overturns! These little piggies went to the market. Actually, no, these little piggies went wee 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 on a highway. Before a semi-trailer carrying 2,200 of them tipped over and crashed on Route 35 in Ohio at 7 p.m. on Monday, releasing a horde of delicious animals. Paramedics, firefighters, police, and even civilians worked together to catch the squealing piglets and search for the remaining friends. According to police reports, 1,500 of those adorable food production units were captured and returned to their doom. However, up to 300 are believed to have died in the crash. No word yet on those that escaped. They could be anywhere. The driver of the truck may be charged with reckless driving and failure to control a vehicle. A passenger sitting beside the driver was injured and brought to a hospital. The captured piglets were brought to the Greene County Fairgrounds and are receiving care. 
This little piggy went to market with only two legs. A farmer in Citron Province, China, is out an estimated $120 worth of pork after one of six piglets was born without hind legs. Yeah, this piglet might look cute as it delights neighbors with its acrobatic handstands, but the lack of hind legs means this little piggy won't be able to provide delicious spiral cut ham, which comes from the back of the pig. Fortunately, missing hind legs is this pig's only deformity. As you can see here, there is ample belly meat for delicious bacon. Animal friends. Dogs come to pig's rescue after a car accident. On one dark and rainy night, a small pig was enjoying a run in the street when it was tragically hit by a car. What happened next was surprising. Two dogs rushed over and barked ferociously at the offending vehicle as if they were avenging their porcine friend. Here's the story. This five-year-old female pig in Taidong, Taiwan, nicknamed Yuan Yuan, was grounded by her owner because she was in heat. However, at around midnight on December 17th, Yuan Yuan's two canine friends chewed off her restraints so all three could go on a romp together. Unfortunately, only 50 meters from their home, the horrific car accident ruined their night. The poor pig staggered home and fell down in critical condition. Her friends, as if knowing what had happened, stood quietly by her side. <laughs> <laughs> to make matters worse, the driver of the car that struck the pig is now demanding payment for damages to his vehicle. <laughs> Ren Ren's owner is now stuck in a perplexing situation. Should the owner pay for the damaged car? Or should the driver pay compensation for the injured pig? Where is the big bad wolf when you need him? A group of wild pigs have descended upon the Atlanta town of Lithonia and is running amok, terrorizing local residents. According to resident DeMarquez Williams, when the feral porkers showed up in his yard last week, he and his siblings tried to chase away the 300-pound swine, but ended up being chased back inside. Williams and other residents are worried as the giant hogs are scaring local kids and turning the neighborhood into a pigsty. So when local bow hunter Perry Millet showed up, they finally thought their problems had been solved. That was until Millet found out he needed a permit before he could make some bacon. The authorities are now trying to trap the beasts, but Millet has vowed to return and evict the pigs against their swill. Why? Out of the kindness of his heart, he says. That and because wild pigs are damn good eaten. <laughs>